time to talk about bringing your gifts to work. And no, we are not talking about the office secret Santa, but rather bringing your natural gifts and your talents to the table at work, which is huge. So here to teach us how is career coach Sarah Vermont. <laughs> with the good info. So Sarah, do we tend to succeed more at things that we are naturally good at? Yes, you said it exactly. Yeah, we tend to excel more at things that we enjoy mm -hmm. and that we care about. So the intersection of those two things is kind of like the, the magic intersection. Yes. Um, and I think that's where we should spend most of our time and energy is nurturing those natural gifts. And I find we live in a world that actually overly encourages us to fill our gaps mm -hmm. instead. Um, and listen, I'm all for learning new things. I think it's great, but I think we need to balance that out at least with sort of leaning into our gifts and nurturing those. Because when you don't, it's almost like, it's like working against the grain. Yeah. And here's what I mean by that. Think about petting a cat backwards. Yeah. It's awkward. <laughs> the cat won't like it. Cat's not having fun. No. You're not having fun. More effortful. So what you want to do is go with the grain. Yeah. I remember I once had a job that felt like I was going against the grain. Yes. It was very research heavy. That's not a forte of mine. I mean, I could do it, but there's only a certain degree of success I could have had in that career right. because I had to work so hard at it and I didn't enjoy it. Um, so yeah, leaning into your gifts is, um, is a way for you to excel at work. And I'm actually curious if you've ever had a job that that wasn't didn't use your fit. natural, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. I took a very circuitous route to getting here and hosting the show, but one of the jobs I had on the way up was assigning the camera crews at another television station. So I was the one, the news director would say, okay, there's a rollover on the 401, send crews. And I did not understand if there was like a six car pileup, perhaps you need more than one camera person. Maybe you need two or three camera people. <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand that I needed to be scheduling them in a way that made sense with where they lived. Because if I was giving them a job at the end of their shift and they lived in the East End, I should give it to the person that is near the East End. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's all this stuff. I was really bad at it. And so what I did was I really leaned into what I'm good at, which is apologizing. And also like just saying to people, you know what, like I have a lot of humility. I know I'm really bad at this, but please be patient. I'm going to get better. And I never did. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm better at this. So what if you are like not sure what your natural gifts are? What do you do? That's a really common thing for people. Um, a really nice way to start is to just start noticing what patterns you sh see showing up in your life in terms of, you know, the, your traits, the, way, the ways you behave mm -hmm. across work and life. Right. So what I mean by that is like maybe you're someone who brings like a really sharp analytical mind to everything you do, whether you're at work, whether you're with friends, or maybe you're someone who's that um, the safe confidant for right. people and that just happens no matter where you go or maybe you're very expressive and creative and you do that everywhere you go. If you start even just for a week mm -hmm. noticing how consistent ways that you show up, those are really good clues about what some of your natural gifts might be. And I'll give you an mm -hmm. example. Esther over here. Mm -hmm. Esther is the producer that I work with every yeah. time I come to City Line. She's and good. Esther, <laughs> um, one of Esther's natural gifts is I would say her creativity, but also her curiosity. This woman can read a single news article and come up with five different ideas for things that we should talk about on the yes. show. And it's one of the reasons why she's really good yeah. at her job. Yes, thank you. That's right. <laughs> It's, that's a skill that you need in her job, and it, bec it comes natural to her. I hope it's natural to yes, because you're really good at it. Yeah, it must be, yeah, yeah, for her to do it so consistently, right? Right. And then you, my dear. Go on. <laughs> I mean, we, we all love you for your sparkling personality, but actually, I think another one of the reasons why you're so good at this job is because you're very real, and you're also willing to initiate conversations that not everyone is willing to initiate. Mm. And I think that's actually what makes you a leader here, but also in the industry at Thank large. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's nice. Yeah. Um, I love that, and I love that, it, you know, if you sort of focus a little bit more on your positive attribute, attributes, it will lead you in a more positive direction. Yeah. And that's what you mean by sort of taking the focus off the gaps. Yes. Put the focus on the things that you're actually already good at and find something, because you're going to be spending a lot of hours at your job, yeah. so make it work for you. So how else would we know if we are on the right path to uncovering our natural gifts? 
Um, one of the best things you can do is start to notice um, when you're using your natural gifts, you will notice that they tend to bring you joy and fulfillment yes. more than some of the other things that you're good at. So not everything that you're good at is a natural gift. Some of the things you've gotten good at because you had to get good at them for your True. job maybe, right? Yeah. Uh, but a natural gift is something that will fill you up instead of deplete you for the most mm. part. Another interesting way to see if you can identify a natural gift is to notice what you're good at that you notice doesn't come as easy to everybody. Like other, you notice that you, you're able to do something, but other people have to work a little harder at it, yeah. or it takes them a little longer to do it. Those are really interesting clues to help you determine what some of those gifts are. Absolutely, like anyone in your family or friends who volunteers to does your ta do your taxes for you, <laughs> like they're in the right place if they're an accountant, because who wants to do that? Yeah. But some people naturally lean into that sort of situation. And I know in our group, this is the last thing I'll say, there was the one friend who was always giving us advice, always giving us advice. She was a social worker, and then she was a lawyer, and now she's a therapist. She is exactly yes. where she should be, and she's been in that role basically since 1994, but, but wasn't getting paid for it. So mm -hmm. she found her natural gifts in a job, and I think that that's a beautiful thing. So thank you for giving us, like, the possibility of living a better life, because I think a lot of people come to you for that possibility, and that's another thing you're really good at. So give it up for Sarah. <laughs> thank you.